Hi, fourth graders. Today we are going to be focusing and learning about character perspectives. Remember that a person's perspective is the way that they view a situation. So it is their opinion about how they are feeling about a situation. And remember that everyone has a different perspective about things that are going on around them. So in order to look at a character's perspective and see it through their point of view or be in their shoes, we need to look at our characters and get to know them. That means that we need to know all of their layers, including how their historical context or the time that they are living in, the history that they are living in, how it affects his or her thoughts and decisions. Sometimes characters in historical fiction stories will make decisions that we might think are odd or bad. I'm thinking about a book right now, it's called Bud Not Buddy, and it is about a boy who is getting adopted during the um, Great Depression and in part of the book, he actually tries to jump on the back of a freight train um, because he is trying to move to a new town. He's trying to find his dad. And that decision to us might seem really weird or bad. I know that one of the students who was reading that book um, said, well, Buddy must be, or Bud must be bad because he's supposed to be going to school and not jumping on the back of trains. But then another student reminded that student who had said that, that this point in time during the Great Depression was completely different than when, you know, when we're, we're alive right now. Um, he was actually making a mature decision because he is trying to find his dad. Um, so he knew that he had to do what he had to do to find his dad. So even though we might think that jumping on the back of a freight train is a bad and unsafe idea, we need to notice the time period that this is happening and the character's situation. And then that might change our opinion about the character's decision. So what I'm going to teach you today that a, is that a character's feeling and decisions are influenced by the character's world and his or her role in that world. When a character responds differently than you would, it helps to ask why is this character doing what they are doing and to realize that the character's perspective is shaped by the time that they are living in. So we are going to go back to chapter one of Number the Stars and we're going to ask ourselves, why is Anne-Marie frightened when the soldier tells her to stop? So remember that in the first chapter, um, the girls are running down the streets. They're practicing for that athletic meet on Friday at their school and when they um turn around the corner, the soldier is at, um, yells the word halt or stop. And when I was a kid, I know when I was walking to school and the crossing guards would tell me to walk, not run, maybe I was embarrassed, but I wasn't frightened. So when I first read this story and, it, and read the fact that Anne-Marie was frightened, I was confused because when I was walking or running to school, when those crossing guards would tell me to stop, I was just like, oh, okay, I'll stop. No big deal. But then um, I know, I realized that I'm picturing the, the nice crossing guards who are there to help me when I was little. But in the time that Anne Marie lived, these weren't just friendly neighborhood guards. They were soldiers from an enemy army who have are now occupying their town and they carry guns. So let's see what it says in the story. I'm going to go back into the story and I'm going to read what it says about these, these soldiers. It says they had two sets of cold eyes. 
So I'm also thinking that a war is starting to brew within this country and ominous clues are everywhere about how Jewish people are being treated. So it begins to make sense that these Nazi soldiers are frightening to Anne-Marie and Ellen. Now we're going to go into pages eight and nine of Number the Stars, and I want you to be thinking about this following question. Why do the characters Kirsty and Mrs. Rosen act differently within these two pages? In the next slide, I'm going to read out those two pages, and I want you to be thinking, why do they act so differently from each other? It has to do with their perspective of the situation. So this is Number the Stars, page 8 and 9. I must go speak to Ellen, Mrs. Rosen said, moving towards the door. You girls walk a different way to school tomorrow. Promise me, Anne-Marie. And Ellen will promise too. We will, Mrs. Rosen. But what does it matter? There are German soldiers on every corner. They will remember your faces. Mrs. Rosen said, turning in the doorway to the hall. It is important to be one of the crowd always. Be one of many. Be sure that they never have reason to remember your face. She disappeared into the hall and closed the door behind her. He'll remember my face, Mama, Kirsty announced happily, because he said I looked like his little girl. He said I was pretty. If he had such a pretty little girl... Why doesn't he go back to her like a good father? Mrs. Johansson murmured, stroking Kirsty's cheek. Why doesn't he go back to his own country? So what do we notice about Kirsty's response to the soldier remembering her face versus how it is different than Mrs. Rosen's idea about the soldiers remembering their faces? What is the difference and why? Well, to start off with, we know that Mrs. Rosen is Jewish. And at that time, we know that she's, be, she's frantic that the girls will be singled out by the soldiers and terrified about the harm that might come to them. But with Kirsty, she seems kind of oblivious to that thought. She's happy that the soldier liked her face and proud that she called he called her pretty. Um, she doesn't understand what's going on historically. She doesn't understand why the soldiers are there or who they are working for. And so therefore she has no reason to be fearful when Mrs. Rosen has all of the reasons to be fearful. So that is just an example about how two characters can be experiencing the same situation but have very, very different feelings and perspective about that situation. As you read today, I want you to be thinking about um, considering what influence shaped your character's perspectives at that time. It's important to ask yourself, why would this character react in this way? And to remember that a character is shaped by his or her history. So you are thinking about your character's perspective and feelings about situations today. And remember that these are shaped on the experiences that they have had in their lives. <laughs>